Mm-hmm. Welcome back to Fear and Hunger. We're, wait, fucking do it. I did it again. Ruby Quest. They're both RPGs, but Jesus Christ, this is Ruby Quest. One finished, the other hasn't. But we're continuing where we left off getting some more content, so let's get right back into it. Okay, battle music is over. Looks like it was just pried open. The dents are so large, though. As long as I can fucking save. I don't care. Hell yeah. Just in case it crashes for any reason. Fuck yes. First time I've been able to save in a while. The other thing I still have to wonder is... I can't help Tom or get rid of all that shit that's probably useless now. I'm wondering if it's just because I have to disinfect him first. Hmm. A very plain white card with a red stripe. But I want to know, rather, what's in the cab, what's in the box? Unless I have to disinfect Tom first, but I want to try first. So I'll drop this, I'll drop the hand. I want to check to see if Tom will open it first. Then we'll check the, the shutter. Hey Tom, do you, what, what do you think about this thing? Okay then. Pry lid. Tom, do you mind? Just gonna watch me try this and fail? I think someone stronger would have an easier time. Tom! Seriously. It might just be simply that I need to have him... Uh... I have to deal with his wound first, then we'll worry about it. Because it's either that, or I have to give him the crowbar. But the problem is I, I can't mess with his inventory for whatever reason. So I can't really... Oh, maybe I can do it this way. Oh, nice. I can just do this. Okay. Fuck it. I don't know if I need to give him the crowbar, then he'll do it. We'll have to try that out. We may have to start swiping shit instead of just... Oh no, wait, how am I supposed to get the crowbar back? Shit. Because if we're going to unlock things, the key needs to be in Ruby's inventory for us to use it. Fuck. Really? I don't get this. So if I'm wanting anything from his inventory, I'm gonna have to give him some shit. I don't know, but I can't equip it. I can't give him the crowbar. That's just fucking weird. I don't know. Fuck it. Seems it's bugged or something. Hopefully it's not bugged in a way where I just can't complete the game because of it. So I don't know if I have to give him the crowbar or if he'll, like, a scripted moment where he'll just ask for the crowbar or not. Alright. We're in the room and the dude's not in here. Insert card. Uh-oh. Uh, red. 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 What is it, Ruby? Red, did the power just go out where you are to? It would seem that it has. I won't be able to lift the shutter without the power on. It opens to inserting the card. I think... Have you checked the room thoroughly for the other coin? Yes, I have. It's not anywhere else, so it must be behind the shutter. I understand. How unfortunate you'll have to go and inspect the generator. If you don't know where it is already, it's the maintenance floor. Same room where the main elevator circuit breaker panel is. Well, alright then. Guess we don't have much of a choice right now. Atta girl. At this point, no one else is going to do it for you. Good luck. Is this guy just lounging about while we are risking our necks? He's... well, he has a limp. I don't want to just drag him everywhere with me in that state. I don't think he's even much of an electrician. Okay, then, I get that. Anyway. Messing with a generator can be dangerous. You know, if there's any rubber gloves or... You do have the rubber gloves from before, Tom! Okay, I don't like this noise at all. It's a good thing you mentioned gloves! Like, honestly, really, nice that you mention it. I guess I'll give so I can return it in my hand. Because the card will still be important in the future. I don't know if Geraldine's card is going to be useful or not. I don't like this noise. Is the bird, like, evil and going to come after me or something? As long as the game doesn't crash. 
Okay, well, uh, we're going this way. Come on, Tom. I don't need you to get attacked. Maybe we'll be able to avoid it if we stay in this room and wait for the music to go away, because I don't know if this thing will cause crashes as well. There's clearly shit's going on really weird because the power is off. Alrighty then. Can I get a good... No, I can't get a good look on him. We're leaving. We oh, With the power off, we can't use the elevator shit. Dude, we're gonna have to take the long way. Hey! Let's just save the game! The game hasn't crashed. Uh, I guess we should be fine saving over this one. Well, we're gonna have to deal with whatever the fuck these shadow monsters are. I'm, I'm assuming the bird is fucking responsible for it, though. The shadow monster during when we were in the water. Very, very same thing, but just different shaped. So I'm going to presume the bird is responsible. Still can't take it down? Strange wrong of an eye. But if the power's out... How are we supposed to make take the other elevator to get in the basement? Where is all the other monsters? Are they just somewhere else, or coincidentally, are they just gone? Oh, wait, we can use this elevator? Huh, the power's still on here. Maybe there's actually some kind of backup power. They need to keep the elevator going to come down. Yeah, that makes sense. So, same room where the main elevator circuit... I mean, I just... Oh, jeez, no, get the fuck away from him! Tom, you idiot! Honest to God. I don't know, Tom, you idiot. Don't. Seriously. I don't know if we need to activate this all over again. Like, is that all we need to literally do, or. What? Oh, no! Wait, wait, no! I don't think I have the crowbar attached. I do. Shit. I'm gonna have to attack him and get rid of him. He's blocked me in a fucking corner. Or, oh, oh, oh. No, oh, fuck, thank God. Could it be a generator? Yes. Did I already fix it, or? No, I don't. A burnt stench. Oh, this panel, okay, thank God. Oh, gee, wait, what? That smell was awful. Never smelled burnt electronics before. We're at a map the generator. It looks like one of the these card things is burned up. You mean one of the circuit cards. You will need to replace it. It's as easy as grabbing the bright green handle and pulling it out of its slot. You can find a replacement card in the hydro systems. In the southern chamber, you can find an electronic supply closet that should contain cards of that type. There's a gate there that requires a- Ah! You'll tell me the passcode! It's the thing on the south that was like the metal bridge. I previously died before in a lot, like, an episode long, long ago. That, the passcode looks sweet! It cares more to the game than I was expecting. 1633. Thank you, Red. Did he say Hydra Systems? Yeah, why? What's wrong? Um, nothing, nothing. Let's go. Bad memories. I have, the, I have the gloves on. Don't want to die. Alright, Ancient acquired the burnt circuit. I don't know if I'll need to keep it or not. Part number RX. Okay, I guess it'll be important to have this so we know the exact card. Because if we have to get the exact same number RX, then we would probably need... Because it could be... It's weird, weird that Ruby's there, but... So, hang on. Um, I'll, I'll grab this. Fuck yeah. It will come in handy, because... Wait, Tom is somehow okay. 
Um, I can't remember what I was thinking. Is this the right way? I think that's what I was thinking. I can't remember the map locations yet. We need to go back down this direction. This is a lot more to the game than I was expecting. I'm, I'm happy about it. Because I, I thought I had very little. We didn't know how much time was left, depending on how much the developers worked on the game from the prior update, which everyone had played, which was like two years old or something, maybe even three years old. It was a whole year old before, but I don't know how old it is now. But it had been so long since they worked on it, and we don't know how long they worked on it before they stopped working on it. Yes. Wait, what? What just splashed in the water? What is the blue eyeball I see on the southern bridge? Maybe I should have saved it again, just in case. Wait, Tom, where are you? Why did you leave me? Tom? Tom, what's wrong? Ruby, look, um... This is super embarrassing, but I want to wait here. I don't want to go in there. Is there something you have to tell me? Well, you and I were separated. I wound up in that chamber. I saw something in that dark, murky water. Maybe it's nothing. I was panicking after all, but I really just can't stand dark, deep water. Yeah, me neither. I don't like that. Like That's why people were afraid of the Super Mario 64 level and all other underwater levels that are dark and creepy. I really, really want to go with you, but... No need to say anymore, Tom. I know how you feel. But this is really the only way to progress. I'm sorry, Ruby. While we were making the trip, I kept trying to think. Think of ways we can get around this. I knew it would circle back to this. It's just rotten luck. I'll just go on ahead. Don't worry about me. Yeah, there can't be anything down there. It's just water. Black, deep water that stretches who knows how far. Just take this time to relax. I won't be long. A ladder. It's red flags right there. A ladder. Hey, I wonder if we'll be falling down and having to climb back up again. You know, this big ass fucking tentacle that looks like a fucking giant hand. Jesus Christ. It looks like it's trying to grab me and shit. I'm just gonna go this way. Thank you. Oh, shit. It's lagging. This ain't- this isn't good. We're gonna have to deal with this leg, because if this is the only way to progress... If you go up north... Oh, jeez. Oh, it's the same thing. If you go up north, this game begins to lag as it is now. But... With all the other water chambers, if for whatever reason, the game is unoptimized... And very leggy around the water, so I might have to start skipping ahead. This is going to take a long time, and I don't know if I'm allowed to run or not without that monster, you know, hearing us. And it's getting worse and worse the farther we go. So this will be very hard to get progress without wasting a fuck ton of time. I'm holding the down button. My finger is held down, just for you guys to know what I'm doing right now. I'm holding down. This is how long it takes to prog- Oh, uh, uh. I even almost crashed the game by how long it took. Shit. It's getting worse and worse. That's not good. I don't know if I'll be able to get actually get past this. This actually might be the forced end. Unless I can figure out a way to make it so the game is more capable. Nah, it's just freezing and freezing. Unless I can start playing the game in a way... I mean, the game just goes like, Hey, it's playing! I, I'm not moving, and then it, it, goes, it goes with the whole Windows... Hey, it's not responding, and then... It starts responding. But it's such a minimal amount of time of it actually responding that it doesn't acknowledge that I'm trying to move. <sighs> so we're gonna have to close the game. Maybe I can put it in a compatibility mode on Windows, but I'm gonna have to close it. Yeah, that looks like garbage. Okay, um, so we'll try to put it in, let's see, a compatibility mode. Windows XP. Sure, yeah, right? Windows XP Service Pack 1, disable full screen optimizations, run as administrator, and let's hope 
doing that uh, makes it not be garbage. All right, so I'm um, uh, yeah, back to recording. Let's see. I don't think I need this anymore, really. Or maybe I'll keep it for now. I'll save her this one. Because I know when I with this, there might have been footage I had previously recorded, but then ceased recording because there was extra footage that you needed to have read with you and look at the computer screen where we first met Stitches in his uh, maggoty red form. And if you brought him to the computer, you could ask him a bunch of questions and shit. And you could look at the computer to see Tom. I just can't remember if I recorded that. And I, I don't think I ever uploaded it because it was part of the uh, footage that could never be. But... So, I don't know, here we go. We have it saved here. I have the real passcode, unless it changes every time you save it. Hopefully not. So we're very, very close to where the game fucks up on us. To be extra prepared, what I'm going to do is... Uh, I have a, the adrenaline shot. It'll stop stamina from running out for a limited time. So I can just burst run as far as I can go every time and try to see where am I going, will I enter a room, will it cancel out the leg if I enter a new room, can I even beat this part, because this script crashiness is probably for everyone who's playing this game, unless there is a compatibility setting that makes it run smooth, with, like just completely smooth, doubtful, doubtful, but I'm willing of course to try whatever I can, so let's see if I, like it's already legs as soon as I enter this room. I just gotta hope I can go in, go out, not deal with the leg, stay in this area as, as short as possible, talk to Tom, take the adrenaline shot, and just run. Just fucking run. Alright, let's do it. Adrenaline shot, let's go! Fucking just bolt it. We're going to the left instead. Hey, what the fuck is this? Oh, itchy nose, fuck man. Is that anything on the ground? No? Okay, we're going up. Ah, we're on it. No legs so far. The hand can't reach us, thankfully. I think this is probably... Ah, oh, no, 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 no. No leg, not now. No! Maybe it's because we slumped. Maybe, maybe if we hit the menu. It's probably already frozen. Oh. If I go on the menu, maybe it'll cease lagging and reset it. We gotta try different things. Oh god! Jesus Christ, it's just a dead end from being grabbed. No... Jesus. Okay. Well, that, uh... It reinforces the reason why I never wanted to get caught by that thing. Okay, so when I go left... When I go left and then up, that's where the game just completely freezes no matter what. Uh, I'll have to try going all the way on the bottom again, and if not for that, then it just means I'll have to keep trying every compatibility setting until I find one that makes it so I don't crash. If there is no compatibility setting where no crashes happen, I'm basically just done the game, and that's it. Yeah, crashes here. It just really doesn't like the areas that have fucking light to them. The script is hanging, fuck me. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm not recording. The game crashed for like the 50th time in the water area. On Windows! Oh, Windows 95 compatibility. Um, I was able to magically get f a little bit further, but it wasn't enough for me to find like a room to enter or progress in a way that could make it, you know, successful. I don't know if there's anything beyond this point or if this is where the developers stopped because it just kept crashing and then their personal problems happened. So I'm going to end it here. I've recorded a fuck ton. Uh, I, I, have a, like, I have a laptop. I will try to run it on the laptop to see if different hardware gives different effects because then if I can play it, copy my files, put it on the laptop, 
in a laptop, I can move further just because it's different hardware and different hardware has different effects on shit software and whatnot. So maybe once on my laptop, I'll be able to proceed, then pr save it after getting some progress and then bring it back to my computer and begin recording again. But if there's no progress on the laptop, then obviously it's just that's just the end. So with me saying that, if there's no progress on the laptop, that means just after this message, there's no further episode, and I'll confirm it in the pinned comment below. Hopefully I get progress, but if not, then this is simply the end, and the script errors that happen here will happen on every single computer. If these script errors hang at the exact same moment on my PC and laptop, then it's guaranteed for every other PC out there. Um, I tried all the compatibility mode changes, nothing fixed it, nothing... Like I said, Windows 95 may, had the best results, but not enough for it to really matter. So, with that said and done, this could be the end, and I'll leave it here. I hope you enjoyed this episode and of Ruby Quest as I got more content than I was initially thinking I'd be able to get. So, good content all around, except for this part where the crashes happen and I can't proceed further. I don't know how much more content would be beyond, if there is any, only the developer knows. And the developer isn't really one to fucking talk, because I've asked them multiple questions and emailed them. They never, they've never written back, so... Well, I hope you enjoyed Ruby Quest. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, hit the bell notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Um.